Hello and welcome to Wrestling and welcome to the Smackdown synopsis for the New Year's Day episode of Smackdown Live. And it kicked off with the new day. Who should have said it's a new year? Yes it is, I don't know why they didn't say that. I'm sure they didn't anyway. They might have done, I can't I can't quite remember now. I don't think they did, they should have done though if they didn't. Um, the boys all say that they are in the Royal Rumble and that they might challenge for the WWE Championship or the Universal Belt when they win, when one of them wins. But they say Brock won't turn up anyway. Nice little jab at Brock Lesnar there. Uh, Woods, Xavier Woods, when I can speak, says that it is doctor's orders that they have to stop eating pancakes because it's really unhealthy. And uh, Big E's in the background, he can't stop eating them. He's grabbing them from everywhere, like within his tights and everything. They're just so funny when they're on screen. We love them here on Welcome to Wrestling, and I'm sure you do too. Next, we get a qualifying match between Jeff Hardy and Samoa Joe, which feels like the 50th match between these two in the last three months. It's a qualifying match because there's going to be a five-way, a fatal five-way at the end of the show to determine the uh, number one contender, I believe, for the uh, WWE Championship. Anyway, Jeff Hardy is going after Joe's knee early on, um, sort of playing on the thing that they did from their feud before. Um, sort of the the take from the commentators is that Jeff needs to keep his emotions in check because obviously uh, he went mad and, and got DQ'd in, in one of their previous matches. So it's all playing on stuff that they've, they've done before. Uh, he hits a twist of fate, then he goes for a swanton, but Samoa Joe manages to get out of the ring and he locks the coquina clutch in outside the ring. And it nearly uh, knocks Jeff out for the 10 count. But Jeff manages to beat that. He gets back in. Joe gets him rolled up straight back into the clutch. And it's a knockout win for Samoa Joe. So he's in the fatal five weight later on in the show. I thought this was a little unfair though. Like why? I thought there was going to be like qualifier matches all throughout the night. But it turned out that they'd already picked the other four people for, for the fatal five way. So it seemed a bit unfair that... These two had to compete for a place. Anyway, Vince and Shane have invited AJ into the production area. And AJ just basically blames Vince what happened last week. He says, do you want the same thing to happen again? Shane squares up to AJ and Vince is like, whoa, whoa, whoa. But he looks buzzing that he's riled AJ up. Uh, we get an introduction to the new US champion, Rusev. Who comes out and chants Rusev Day USA? <laughs> really got the crowd going. It's quite funny. And then out of nowhere, uh, Nakamura blindsides Rusev. Lana jumps on Nakamura's back. Rusev does a super kick to Nakamura, and Lana takes a tumble off the back of Nakamura. Um, and he takes advantage of this, does Nakamura, and he hits Rusev with a Kinshasa. So. Uh, they were continuing that feud, which I didn't think they would do. I thought Nakamura might move up the card a little bit, but they're obviously continuing it. Um, I thought that... I, I guess in a way, as you can say, well, Nakamura's attacked Rusev, so instead of just having a rematch, he's kind of created a, a reason for Nakamura, uh, for Rusev to want to, to take him on. But, yeah, I thought they would move on from this. Naomi faces off against Mandy. Mandy, of course, has been trying to rile Naomi up for weeks by going after... Uh, is it Jimmy Uso, who Naomi's with? I never remember this. Um, let's check. I need to get this in my head, don't I? Which one's with which? I believe Jimmy's with... Uh, yeah, it is. I was correct. Uh, yeah, Mandy's been winding Naomi up, but... Anyway, they get in the ring, and then all of a sudden, uh, Mandy takes a top off, and she's got a day one-ish top on, just to wind Naomi up a little bit more. Then she rolls out the ring, and it's revealed that it's actually Sonya who's taking on Naomi, so this was a bit weird. Uh, so they're squaring off, having a match. Mandy shows a naughty pick that she sent to Jimmy on the Titantron, uh, which distracts Naomi, and Sonya gets the win, but it's... I say a naughty pick, it's obviously family friendly naughty. It's just her in a towel that she's had professionally done that apparently she sent to to Jimmy. Um yeah, this feud's weird. 
We get some promos from the rest of the guys in the Fatal Five way. I like the transitions. It's like a zoom and uh, goes into Ray's face. Uh, some good transitions. Mixes up just a sort of bog standard promo. Uh, we get more more resolutions and it gets to Shelton Benjamin who's mad and he destroys the set. He doesn't like Christmas, evidently. Promo from Samoa Joe basically saying, I'm going to win, blah, blah, blah. Then we get John Cena, who's come back to SmackDown Live, and I think he's going to be on both shows. He pokes fun at his own hair, because he's got that long mop of hair. He's clearly had a transplant done, because he used to have a bald spot on the back there, and uh, it's not there anymore. Uh, but it's funny that he takes a mick out of himself. He mentions Nikki as well, which I thought was interesting, saying uh, he'd been dropped faster than, than Nikki Bella, or something like that. I can't can't remember exactly uh, what it was that he said, but uh, yeah, really poking fun at himself. And uh, he says that he wants a match. Who's going to come down and face off against him? All of a sudden, Becky Lynch's music hits. She says she's overtaken Charlotte as the uh, the main woman on the roster. And she's there to overtake Cena on the promotional, you know, the posters and stuff. She mentioned that again, how she's... Now going to be the, the one at front and centre on posters and stuff. She said she'll be the second woman to drop Cena if uh, this year if he thinks differently. So another little mention of Nikki there. Anyway, all of a sudden Zelina Vega comes out and she slags both of them off. Cena bigs up Becky and says he'll team with her. So it's Becky and Cena versus Zelina and Almas. So... We have a match, it's a mixed match. Um, kind of interesting, it's sort of not what you want Becky Lynch to be doing. Like, she's on this hot run at the minute, and uh, they put her in a mixed match with John Cena. But it kind of worked. Um, so, Becky uh, squares up to Almas when Selena tags Almas in. Becky's basically saying, you know, I, I can take Almas instead of getting out of the ring how she's supposed to in a mixed match. Uh, Mike Kyoto breaks them up. Becky goes over to John Cena and she slaps him on the chest to tag him in. And he gives her a little funny look, uh, which I thought was quite good. Zelina gets a cheap shot on Cena when the ref isn't looking. Uh, Becky goes for the disarm her. Oh, but Almas pulls Zelina away before she can do it. Cena, I'm getting mixed up between saying Zelina and Cena because they kind of rhyme. Cena hits his six moves of doom on Almas. Becky trip tips Cena out of the ring, so she actually throws him out. Zelina rolls Becky up, but she reverses it into a disarmor and wins. So, quite a little interesting match, actually. I thought there was quite a lot of nice things going on. Um, I like the finish. You know, I like that Becky got to tip Cena out, and she was sort of saying, this is my ring. It's good stuff. Becky's just on a hot streak, isn't she? I mean, we've said on this show before... Uh, and, and I'll say again that I really wasn't into Becky Lynch at all. I didn't like the heel turn that they did, but she's turned it around into something amazing. It's so Stone Coldish, And uh, yeah, she's probably the best thing in the company right now. She won't shake Cena's hand after the match. She goes to do it and she pulls away and she gives the you can't see me to him, which is great as well. Miz shows Shane some mock-ups of their ring gear if they're going to be a tag team. I thought this was a very funny segment. I'm really enjoying the thing that the Miz is doing at the minute. And it's kind of a face turn. Adam's mentioned how it's it's a bit of a face turn, really, for him. I wonder if it will lead to him and Daniel Bryan actually having a match at Mania still. Uh, but yeah, the ring gear is great. And they do like a mock-up of Shane's face on someone else's body. And Shane goes, is that Goldberg's body? Uh, it made me laugh a lot. Triple H uh, is with Asuka, and he's asking her who he, who she, sorry, thinks, uh, or who she would like to face at uh, at Royal Rumble, I guess. And uh, Charlotte, Carmella, and Becky all come in and say it should be them. Triple H, Triple H says that the McMahons will let them know who they're picking as number one contender. Asuka picks her title up and walks away with a funny smile. Again, that made me laugh. I think Asuka's really funny. She's great on camera. 
Then we get to the main event. It's the Fatal Five Way that I mentioned earlier. As usual madness of a, of a Fatal Five Way. People flying all over, moves happening left and right. Randy and Joe take out AJ, with Joe putting him through the announce table. And then it's the two little men uh, left after everyone else wipes each other out. It's Ray and it's uh, Ali. They do a Spanish fly off the top turnbuckle, which is cool. It's still one of the coolest moves around. And Joe breaks the pin up, and Ali goes for a, an 054, but he misses it. Joe locks in the clutch um, over by the ropes. Ray hits a 619 on Joe. He's really good positioning for all this and to break up the, the clutch. And then he 619s uh, Ali. Randy tips Ray out of the ring. He hits an RK on Ali, but Ray breaks up the pin. Hits 619 on Randy. Joe takes Ray out of uh, out of nowhere, and then AJ hits the 450 splash on Randy to win. Brilliant match. Uh, love a fatal five way when it's done right, or a fatal four way, or even triple threats when they're done right. They're, they're just so fast paced. Stuff's happening left and right all the time. And this one uh, really did live up to it. So it is AJ versus Daniel Bryan again, but he's had to earn the chance. So the rematch thing has changed. And uh, yeah, good SmackDown. SmackDown's really good at the minute. Like this new era thing, like it was already good anyway, but the new era thing, SmackDown's thriving from it. Raw's, in my opinion, struggling. So I'm going to give this SmackDown an 8 out of 10. I really, really enjoyed it. I liked the the five-way at the end there. I liked the Becky and the Cena thing. And, uh, yeah, it just it was a good episode. Great little opening segment from New Day, as always. So that's SmackDown synopsis for the New Year episode. Hope you've enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe and uh, you'll be notified of all our videos here on Welcome to Wrestling. Adam will be back. Hopefully next week. We've been a little bit out of sync over the Christmas period. Um, we're hoping that we can get back together and we can discuss these shows. Because I find it more interesting when we can discuss things together rather than just me running through what happened. We will see you for next week's episodes.